Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are heading up to Jackson. It's a town just to the north of Tennessee. We're gonna go up there and uh, check about a dual enrollment thing for Sarah. This is downtown Henderson. Don't blink, okay? Coming into the small town of Penson. Don't blink again, okay? We just saw a sign for a park. It's supposed to be a, a park that's special for bicycles and uh, like BMX and mountain bikes and stuff, I guess. And so that is what we're here, checking it out, guys. Wow, check it out, nicely cut grass. You got some cool gazebo things over here. Have picnics in here and stuff. Water right there, playground, basketball. Looks cool and it looks totally free. That's nice. Parks are usually free in America and this are like a national park or some state parks. But like regular parks, usually free. Looks like there's a baseball field down here. Yep, big baseball field down there. Maybe soccer too. What's yeah. over there? Oh, there's the BMX track right over there. And yeah, they got like the starting thing over there, the little starting ramp. BMX track. All right, you're coming up. Oh yeah, here's the uh, home plate right there. Wow, so they got one here. And then over here, they've got another one. Another one. They've got three baseball diamonds here. And a batting cage. What's a batting cage? A batting cage is where you practice batting. Oh. And it's a big cage. You put a machine in there and it throws the balls at you and you just practice hitting them. That's a batting cage right there, that big fenced in area. I didn't see anything that said something about mountain biking trail. Did you see it? All right, we found part of the trail. We didn't find the start, but we found part of it here. It crosses the street mm -hmm. and goes down there into the woods. I bet you could run on it. Yeah. Wanna go run right now? No. Good. We already ran. Yes, and you're in jeans. We missed our turn, so we're going through a neighborhood right now. Let's check out the houses here. We're in South Jackson. It's a cool house. Here's a little white one. It's cool looking. Ooh, railroad tracks for you guys that like trains. Any trains coming? Nope, no trains. So where are we going right now, guys? That is a good question, I'm glad you asked. We're actually going to Jackson State University right now. I misspoke, it's actually called Jackson State Community College. Yes. And um, <laughs> we are kind of in South Jackson. It's in town, I wouldn't necessarily call it downtown, but it's definitely town. It's an older part of town. Uh, it's not really like the area there where you'd have like Walmart and Best Buy and Old Navy and stuff like that. So, it's like local. Yeah, it's like local businesses, older businesses, stuff like that. A lot of older buildings, like this old church building. Yeah. See, that's an old church building right there. Check out this cool old building. They yeah, blocked up all the glass. Cool. Isn't that cool looking? It looks like an old train station. Yeah, that's an awesome building. Too bad they blocked the. Uh, these are what the windows used to look like. Windows, your house. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Really you like that building, huh? Yeah, we should design a house like that. That'd be cool. So pretty. So check out this old building here. 
in this old house. Here's another really old house. That one's cool looking too. That one looks kind of scary. One of the ways that you can tell if a neighborhood is old or new is by the size of the trees in it, right? New neighborhoods have small trees. Old neighborhoods have really big, fat trees. Kind of took the roundabout way, but we're here. Jackson State Community College. Looks a lot like this. It's a lot of buildings way over there. Administration, staff, parking only. Service vehicles over there. It is warm here, guys. Warm, warm. I wonder what the temperature is. Jules just saw that the temperature is 91 degrees. Do you guys notice how green it is here? How does it stay so green when it's 91 degrees? It rains and it's humid. It's rainy and humid like Indonesia administration building so you're probably wondering why we are coming here because here in the u.s they have a program called dual enrollment and so juniors and seniors in high school or that are homeschooled they can they can go to college for two years basically and get dual credit get college credit and high school credit so they can go like cut two years off of their college and so we're here just checking out some classes here seeing what the options are, checking out the prices. Wow, this looks like a school. Hmm, where do we go? Receptionist. Let's go there. Look, the main lobby. Receptionist. Nice receptionist here. Told us where we need to go. We need to go to a building called Student Services. Show you a little bit of the campus here. Sarah wants to make sure you guys see the pretty flowers on the trees. It's beautiful. Thanks, sir. Welcome. Everybody says thank you. You're welcome, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought those flowers were pretty. <laughs> Here we go. Entre vous. Lots of uh, tables and stuff to sit at. They got a cafe. Vroom. Very helpful people in there. We got a lot of great information. It's probably not going to work out, though, because we're out of state people and so the price is super expensive for out of state and so just for you guys that don't know like how that works each state in the United States has state schools and so for residents of that state you get um, a cheaper tuition you get the standard tuition but then if you're an out-of-state resident because you haven't been paying taxes in that state you pay a higher tuition and so it's kind of motivates people to go to school in their own state instead of going to another state. Basically, we'd have to be here for like a year to get the in-state tuition prices. So Fried Hardeman would turn out to be actually cheaper even though it's a private university compared to out of state. The next day. So as it turns out guys, Sarah has been accepted into Fried Hardeman's program for dual enrollment. What class are you gonna be taking over there? I think we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing college algebra. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited because I'm gonna get to be around a lot of people and meet people and I'll be, you know, like I'll get to see what being at a college is like and stuff. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it should be a pretty cool experience, guys. And if you happen to speak Indonesian and you want to kind of know more about this, then you probably need to subscribe to Sarah's channel because <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she's going to be sharing all of her experiences with you guys on her Indonesian <laughs> channel. And so, guys, if you want to know more about our life here in Tennessee, go ahead and click my face right down there and subscribe to the channel. We hope you guys have a really great day. And keep smiling.